Bueno, es un acto eh, desafortunado, sin ninguna duda. Eh, lo siento por él, lo primero. Eh, tengo una buena relación con, con Alexander. Y, y al final, eh, no te voy a decir una cosa distinta, ¿no? Al final creo que se merece la sanción, porque no se puede no se puede actuar de esta, de esta manera. ¿no? Esta es una realidad, yo creo que él es consciente de ello y ojalá que esto también sirva de, de aprendizaje para, para él y para otros jóvenes que a veces también eh, pierden un poquito los, los nervios en la pista. ¿no? Creo que al final es lógico que la, la organización eh, que rige nuestro deporte pues, eh, se haga respetar y haga respetar a los, a los jueces de silla y, y al deporte en general, con lo cual en ese sentido... Eh, no voy a entrar yo en lo que es justo lo que no es justo a nivel de sanciones pero al final sí, sí que se tiene que parar un poco según qué tipo de actitudes que, que últimamente se ponen un poquito más de moda ¿no? y, y, y de alguna manera pues eh, ojalá que, que le sirva para, también para, para que no se repita, he leído su, su comunicado que ha hecho y creo que que lo, lo refleja todo muy bien y, y para mí es un paso positivo hacia adelante que, que lo reconozca, que, que, que se disculpe y que, y que, y que piense que, que eso le va a servir para no volverlo a hacer y, y ojalá que así sea. ¿no? Le deseo lo mejor, ojalá que, que le podamos ver pronto de nuevo en, en las pistas y, y que sirva no solo a él sino a otros que, que alguna vez tienen unas actitudes similares para que para que de alguna manera eh, estén al tanto que no se pueda tener según qué tipo de conductas. Yeah, I mean, um, to be honest, I think the way we we see the situation right now, when we look back, uh, I think it's that's what happened to me a few times. He made a mistake. He paid for it. Um, from what he says, he he understands that he made the mistake, and that's the most important. People, no matter which which job, which sport. Everybody makes mistakes. Somebody less, somebody makes bigger ones, maybe more times. Somebody doesn't learn on them or uh, for some reason cannot stop from doing something or something like this. So um, I think, yeah, uh, was definitely not nice what he did, but he understands it also. And uh, he already got his, uh, his punishment, if we can say like this. So I don't see much what I can actually say about this. As I say, you know, from my point of view, I understand when you make mistakes, but you regret it, and next time uh, you you try not to make it. And as for the Acapulco situation, you know, I saw also uh, I saw the video, I saw Sasha's uh, statement. I think he said it all in that statement. You know, he realizes that it was a mistake. I understand the frustration. You know, sometimes on the court, you you, you know. You, you feel in the heat of the battle, uh, lots of different emotions, different things happening in your head, and uh, uh, you know, I, I made mistakes uh, in in the past uh, where I, you know, had tantrums on the court. So I, I, I understand that, uh, you know, what the player is going through. Uh, but of course, I do not justify his actions, and uh, but he has, with the words that he had in the statement, handled it uh, in the right way. He said he made a mistake and. Uh, His actions were not appropriate, and uh, I think, you know, the, the disqualification um, decision was, I think, you know, uh, not too harsh. I think it was correct under the circumstances, and you know, of course, it is harsh <laughs> because for a player to get disqualified from the tournament. I mean, I know a year and a half ago I had a, you know, something I can't say similar, but I was disqualified from a Grand Slam. Um, you know, with uh, unintentionally hitting the the line umpire, but I realized that you know, it is a mistake, and I have to take it.